One, two, three, four, loud. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, loud. I'm getting a kiss now. Say hi, baby. All right, so I'm just testing the mic now. I'm lifting up the thing. See how it sounds with the face plate open. And this is what it sounds like with the face plate closed. Hey, guys, thanks for clicking on the video. And I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the Cine Prism tube camera. Um, I bought this off of Zilla, and you can see that on the screen here, uh, for about $119. I've, I've seen it go uh, for a little bit more on other websites. This is the cheapest that I've actually seen it. Um, so I was real happy with it. It came really quick, a couple days, um, and uh, it was here really quick. And I'm going to go ahead and unbox it now, um, and uh, I'm going to take it out a little bit later today, um, or maybe tomorrow, and uh, record some... Um, um, some footage of me driving uh, to see how it comes out. I've been looking for a helmet cam. I have a dash cam for the car that I bought. You know, it's a cheap dash cam I bought for like 30 bucks, and and I'll put a link in the description um, of where I got that dash cam, and I'll go ahead and put a link at the end of the video to the review of that one. It's a GT300, some Chinese-made one. Um, but this is, you know, specifically for motorcycles, so it does come... Uh, apparently with a clip-on and, uh, and a couple of other things. A little bit about a camera, 125 degree view. Um, I'm, I'm itching to see how that looks, you know, how far left or right do I have to look. When I'm looking straight, how far around do I have to look up or, you know, all that stuff. Um, it's supposed to be very light, 75 grams. Um, so hopefully it won't weigh me down on, the, on, that, uh, on that helmet. And I'm hoping I'm not getting a lot of wind resistance either, you know, jerking my head around when, when I'm going to speed. Um, because I have a Triumph Bobber Black. I, I don't have a bike that has a windshield or anything like that. Recording time says it's two hours. We'll, we'll see how that is, see how long the battery lasts. Um, it says it has a charge time of three hours um, at 1,100 milliamps, uh, lithium polymer. Um, it does come with a microphone, apparently, an external microphone. I was reading online that it also does come with an internal microphone, so you don't have to have, apparently, the, <clears throat> the mic... Uh, cord on it however obviously if you don't you're gonna be catching all the ambient noise and you probably won't hear yourself talk just a lot of video and a lot of traffic noise and wind noise uh, so I'm assuming this is the one you're gonna use for uh, for the internal uh, this looks like a speaker I have to read up or look at it a little bit more um, but it just looks like a speaker for the unit itself um, it is uh, 1080p HD uh, apparently at 30 FPS um, it does have a micro uh, HDMI output as well um, what else can I say oh it doesn't come with an SD card so make sure that you understand that I, I went out and I bought a 32 gig card that I'm gonna put in it um, so hopefully uh, 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 they're not lying to me and I get a double <laughs> because I've already opened that other 32 gig card um, and also, they want you to know that it's not Bluetooth enabled, right? It's not compatible with the Bluetooth headsets from Cena. Um, so it is, it is a pretty simple little thing. It's very manual, but I've read uh, a couple of reviews online here, a couple of descriptions. It's, they say it's easy to use one button to turn it on, one button to turn it off. We'll, we'll have to see how that works. Um, so I'll go ahead and unbox it right now. Um, so let's take a look at it. Here it is. I got it in the mail, like I said, within a couple days. Um, Revzilla is where I bought a lot of my stuff. I buy a lot of... Uh, uh, jackets or helmets or you know stuff like that and little stuff like this and they're really really good about sending that stuff on time I've never had a problem with them I've never had to return uh, so I'd, I'd recommend Revzilla for any motorcycle needs um, but this is the prison tube uh, this is what they sent me and uh, you know uh, I don't think I have anything to scale it by oh, how about this it's a pack of cigarettes for scale of how big this box is right this is regular pack of cigarettes so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what we got so we open the box and let's slide everything out here <clears throat> and it looks like we have uh, the camera here is this books no this seems to be another little box okay so we'll put that little box aside here's the camera uh, we'll put it over here as well um, and got some Looks like guides. Nothing else in the box. All right, we'll take that to the side. Here's all my uh, quick start guides and probably manuals, all that stuff. 
in here, warranty information. Let's take a look. Yeah, your quick start guide in English, Spanish, German, uh, several. Your warranty cards as well. So that'll come with the unit. Here's the unit itself. So we'll take that plastic off and move it out of the way. Let's take a look at this. Uh, this is the camera. Um, let me get this out of the way so there's nothing bothering you. And this is a pack of cigarettes in comparison. So just a little bit longer than a pack of cigarettes and just as wide as a pack of cigarettes, just about. Um, it is pretty, pretty light. It's not very heavy at all. Um, it looks like it comes with a plastic cover for the lens. Okay. Um, the back cover here. Always reminds me of those Rambo knives back in the day. This back cover. Okay, so it covers the back where we've got uh, HDMI. Uh, we've got an SD card slot. Uh, we've got a USB slot right there. Um, we've got a format button. You can't barely see that. Sorry about that. Uh, you got a format button there, and then you got a reset button for the system. That's pretty cool. Um, the on switch. Oh, and it comes charged. Look at that. So it's just forward to turn it on and backwards to turn it off. Take, looks like it takes a little time to turn off. It's going red there. Now it's off. That's pretty cool. And it, it's not very heavy at all. Uh, I like that. Okay, cool. So let's cover that back up. And let's put it off to the side here. And let's take a look at what we got in the box. Oh, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Okay, so nothing more in the box. Let's see what we got here. We have got the helmet clamp. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at this. All right. That's a pretty cool little helmet clamp. Looks like it fits right on that tubular section. It looks like this opens up. Like you undo the screws and then you'll slide it into your helmet. Um, so that's, that's all right. And be able to angle, obviously forward or back by loosening this nut and this will probably move okay so put that there looks like it comes with an allen wrench key as well so you can do that for those two screws let's move that out of the way Let's see what else we got here we got another looks like okay let's see oh that slides off how does that slide off Oh, okay, so here's the clamp that came with it, and here's another, looks like another clamp. So basically you're just sliding this on to either one. Oh, I see it now. Oh, okay. Um, and this one comes with a 3M tape on the back. So I'm assuming that this, you could stick it on your helmet, right? Or if you wanted to use the clamp, you could clamp it on your helmet, and this will tie onto each one. So, you know, if you got a couple helmets um, and you're willing to sacrifice, I don't like sticking anything on my helmet. You're willing to sacrifice sticking one on there for low pro um, and then having another one, you could actually have two two helmets set up for this. That's pretty cool. And I do have a couple helmets. Um, so I'll probably split the difference here and, and make one mobile. And I may go ahead and stick this on. I'll, I'll see how it looks anyway. So those are the clamps. This looks like it's the... Okay, this is the control. This is the control um, for the mic and the speaker. And they, okay, and they're labeled mic. Well, this one's labeled mic. So I'm assuming that the black one will be the speaker. Um, and it looks like it has the mini USB. Take a look at that. right way. I don't want to break it. Oh, there it is. That slides in. This slide. Okay, so that's the watertight seal there. That's what this back cap is for. That's what the other back cap is for if you don't have the mic on. Cool. Not bad. Okay. Uh, looks like this one is the mic because it has a red connector just like that mic connector there okay so 
I guess we'll just connect this here. There's a little notch in it so you can see which way you're connecting it. You're connecting it the right way. Snaps in. Cool. We've got, okay, so that one's a mic. I'm assuming this one is going to be the speaker. And I'm not really interested in speaker, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it in there. Uh, we'll put that to the side. Looks like you got a couple of other things with 3M in here. Oh, okay, these are the loop and fasten. In other words, the Velcro uh, for your mic and your speaker. Yeah, and it just, so that way you can put it on the inside of your helmet and kind of stick it down so they're not moving around. So it does come with that. Uh, USB key comes with that, so, or the USB cord, so you can charge it and do firmware upgrades and all that kind of stuff, um, because this does run on, on firmware, okay? Um, so yeah, that's that's basically the camera right there. Uh, pretty much everything you get in the box. Um, it is quite a lot. Um, yeah, so I got a plan to go ahead, and sorry about the movement here, I've got a very loose stand on that, on that, uh, that webcam. Um, but I'm planning to put it on the, on this helmet. Now, I do have a Bluetooth helmet. This is a Nolan N44 modular, and I really love it because it's a wide open face. And I can actually take the, the chin piece off this. I can take the this uh, visor off, and I can put a, 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 a tip on it to make it look like a dirt bike. Um, it's really cool, but it does have the Bluetooth uh, built into it that, that, that I purchased with Nolan. So I'm probably going to have to put it on the other side. Um, and then I got a couple other helmets I might want to try it with. I've got a half helmet here. Um, uh, I don't know where I'm going to put that. Probably somewhere here on the edge. I don't know if that's going to look good or, or work out. The skull cap, a little bit different. Um, I'll see how that works out as well. Um, but that's kind of what I'm planning to do it on. Um, but like I said, uh, I'll go ahead and put the link of, of this in the description. Um, and let's go ahead and uh, take a look and, and see... I should have that video done um, uh, here in the next day or two, but let's go ahead and take a look at him, assuming I already do. All right, lads. I am getting ready to head out. That's my bike. That's my 2018 Triumph Bobber Black. I'll be doing a review on that bike pretty soon. I just hit the 500 mile mark to go ahead and take her in for her first service. I've had it for about three weeks now. I love it, and I'll talk about it a little bit more. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and get this video started for the camera now I did make a mistake <laughs> I started a video this morning on the way to work because I kind of wanted you guys to see what it would look like while it was dark unfortunately I didn't put my SD card in so keep in mind that the unit does not come with an SD card it is recommended that the SD card be at 32 gig um, or you could have problems um, so it does support up to a 32 gig micro SD card and I was lucky enough to find one on a deal of the day at Best Buy for $14.99 so you guys shouldn't have a hard time finding one anyway um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and take this ride on home and let you guys take a look at what she looks like take a look at what she sounds like um, you've already seen the unboxing um, so just go ahead and take a look at the quality now um, throughout my ride I'll go ahead and speak a little bit uh, because I want to see what the wind noise is like at certain speeds as you can see right now I'm just kind of cruising around trying to get out of the get out of work here and uh, start getting on the road home I will be on the tollway so I will be hitting about 80 85 miles an hour and uh, so uh, we'll be able to see if the if the unit can withstand uh, uh, wind noise or not if you guys can understand me hear me or if it's gonna be a problem all right, so I'll go ahead and be quiet now and uh, let you guys enjoy the sights and sounds. Oh, and by the way, I've got my music playing, so I don't know if you can hear that or not. I've got it on the lowest volume possible, but as soon as I hit that, uh, that tollway, I'm going to have to raise it up. Um, so that'll be funny to find out. I am using the wired microphone it is all the way at the front unfortunately the unit doesn't do bluetooth so uh it doesn't pair with any of the bluetooth um uh sana products um so you know you kind of have to manually work it and 
many do this many do that but it's not too much one button turns it on it's easy enough to do slide that button to the front and she turns on all right so now i'll really shut up and let you enjoy I'm hitting about 60 miles an hour right now. So I'm not really sure what it sounds like. Wind's coming in pretty pretty good, but I've got the front chin vent closed. So I don't have a lot of air coming in the front here. I can hear it around my ears, but I'm not sure how it's affecting the, uh, the mic. I'm going downhill now, hitting about 70 miles an hour. Not sure how that's coming across on the mic. I'm hoping I can still hear myself on the video. Hoping you guys too. So far, so good. I'm going along. Um, the I don't feel any drag on the camera whatsoever from the wind. So that's a nice little plus. It doesn't intrude on my uh, vision at all. So I can look right, look left. And right here, oh, nice one asshole so you know I'm able to go ahead and uh, look at my lines make sure I can turn my head without getting my head jerked back with the wind all right I'm going about 80 now I'm gonna have to slow it down here in a second but just want to see how it sounded at that speed well they don't 80 I've also got my music turned pretty much up where I can barely hear myself talk. So I'm wondering if that's coming across on the mic. I guess we'll see. There's the asshole that almost fucking came into my lane. Just a couple of things about the camera that I'll probably read off on the, uh, on the unboxing. Um, one of them was that there was a two hour recording time on it so it's not really a camera that you can leave on that it's gonna loop um, kind of like the dash cam that I have I'm actually thinking about using this one as my car dash cam but um, but that's the you know that's that's kind of what's what I'm thinking about is it, it's only a two-hour drive um, record time which is a lot uh, but I'm imagining it it fills up the entire 32 gig SD card um, but we'll see how that pans out. This this trip is probably about, I don't know, Google Maps said about 42 minutes. So when I get home, I'll take a look at the video and see how long that was. And um, when I do my finishing comments, my wrap up, I'll, uh, I'll give you my feedback on that. And, uh, you know, I'll give you the feedback on the video as well. Um, especially, let me shut that mouth vent and see if that makes any difference. <laughs> Still getting a lot of air in here really love this helmet by the way it's an N44 Nolan uh, modular um, and it's what the one I'm testing on today um, I am gonna go ahead and do a small test on my skull cap um, so you can see what it looks like what it sounds like without the mic um, without the wired mic just the internal mic which means there's just gonna be a lot of external sound you know um, but just to see if I can be heard talking maybe the bike can be heard better you know something like that so Anyway. All right, guys, so that was the ride. Uh, gonna go ahead and wrap up the video now. I don't want you guys to know exactly where I live. How about that? Nothing personal. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm anxious to see what the video looks like as soon as I get home. And uh, you know, I edit it up and uh, I'll mash it up together with the, uh, <laughs> with the, uh, with the unboxing um, apparently I found out as well while I was at work that you can put a timestamp on this it is in the instructions you're not gonna see a timestamp on mine 
Um, it's a weird way to do it. You can't use the Cena manager, device manager to do the firmware update. Um, you actually just have to connect to the unit itself and uh, put the file in the root directory. When you power it up, it uh, takes that file and it updates the firmware. Same thing, when you want to put a timestamp on this bad boy, um, at the time that you put the you put a text file with the time on it, whenever you put it in the system, the system when it powers up, it will take that time. And as long as I think the battery doesn't run out, um, uh, totally dead for a long time, it should keep the time. Um, if it has you know any type of a, a charge left, maybe like a CMOS battery in the computer. So uh, I'm assuming that's what happens. That's what any good electrical product does. So it can keep time. Too far out, lady. Um, so, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. So that was the unboxing of the Cena uh, Prism Tube Helmet Cam, um, and also just a few vids of what it looks like on the road, what it sounds like. I'm pretty happy with it for the price that I spent. I think it actually sounds pretty good. I, you can understand everything I'm saying, whether I'm going 10 miles an hour or them going 80 miles an hour. Uh, there's a little bit of shake, but that's to be expected, you know, riding on a motorcycle, especially a bobber that I'm riding. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So as I said, I'll go ahead and put the link in the description of the Revzilla version of that, uh, or the Revzilla site where I got it at. And I'll go ahead and put the, uh, click on the link right here on the bottom right. Uh, to go ahead and take a look at the dash cam review that I got out there. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll talk to you later.